everyone and happy Friday. It decided to get cold again <laughs> here in Central Virginia. It's, it is November. It really should be pretty chilly outside. So we're all glad to see sweater weather back after a couple of days. My name is Erin and I am coming to you from Dances with Wool, which is a yarn store just located just outside the city of Richmond in Midlothian, Virginia. And this is our weekly Inspire Me segment. And I have got a lot to talk to you guys about this morning. Okay, so this is, might be slightly longer. Usually we make these about 10 to 15 minutes. This one might run a little bit longer, um, but it's got a lot of information. I got a lot of things to talk to you about. We are in the busy season and we have a lot happening at the shop here as we get ready to really kick into high gear for the holiday season. So before we get started, as always, we want to remind people that our normal business hours for the brick and mortar shop are Tuesdays through Saturdays, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. But I strongly encourage you to check out the website or give the shop a call here in the next several weeks. Keep an eye on our holiday hours, all right? We've got some changes to that, which I'm going to go over in just a second. Um, we want to really make sure that everybody is aware. We don't want anybody to get caught off guard and come up to the shop and find us closed. But we are closed on Sundays and Mondays. That's typical. Our usual hours are Tuesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Of course, we have our website, which Debbie is linking in the comments, um, along with everything else I talk about today. And you can shop our online shop 24 hours a day, seven days a week from your couch and your pajamas. We offer a local in-store pickup if you live here in the area. If not, we have flat rate shipping. So you can always shop that even if the brick and mortar store is closed. Our website is open for you to shop. Um, as always, uh, good morning, Joyce. We, uh, like I said, you can find us everywhere on social media, Dances with Wool, RVA, which stands for Richmond, Virginia. It'd be a really good idea to follow us on uh, social media too, as we'll also be posting about holiday hours and things on social media. We're gonna try to get that information out there as much as possible. So, holiday hours, real quick before I start. We will be closed tomorrow, Saturday, November 20th. We are actually gonna be vending at an off-site event. We're very excited. It's an inaugural, first time ever fiber event at the James River Cellars Winery, which is just outside the city of Ashland, north of Richmond. Um, it's a brand new event that they've started called the Yarn Ball. So we're very excited. Uh, we'll be vending there. There'll be other local yarn stores there. There'll be all kinds of local makers there. It's going to be a really fun event. It's going to be from 12 to 5 p.m. out at James River Cellars Winery. There, Of course, the winery will be open. If you would like to um, partake of any of that, they'll have wine slushies is our understanding. There'll also be some food trucks. It's going to be a lot of fun. Live music. It's going to be a great event. There'll be seating indoors and outdoors, although we do recommend that you might want to pop um, a camp chair or a picnic blanket or something in your car just to have. There's plenty of room for people to come and sit and knit or crochet and enjoy. Um, we're really looking forward to it. The weather's looking fabulous. And so we very much hope that everybody will come out and join us Sunday, November, Saturday, November 20th, sorry, excuse me, Saturday, tomorrow, November 20th from 12 to 5. We will close the brick and mortar shop because we are going to encourage folks to come out and support local small businesses and support this brand new event because if it does really well, they'll do it every year, guys. And so we really want to make sure that that happens. So we will be closed. The brick and mortar store will be closed tomorrow. Of course, if always, the online shop will be open. The next week is uh, Thanksgiving here in the States. And so we will be closing, we'll be open our normal hours on Tuesday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Our Stitch Morning, our social Stitch Morning group will happen like normal. They are here every Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. So if you are local, we'd strongly encourage you to come out on Tuesdays and get to meet some folks and bring a project and just sit and socialize. On Wednesday, we will be closing November 24th. We'll be closing early. We'll be open from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. So if you need that last minute item before the holiday weekend, we will be here 11 to 2 on Wednesday, but we'll be closing early. Thursday is Thanksgiving. The 25th will be closed on Thursday. And then on Friday, 
the 26th, that's Black Friday. We are having our annual Black Friday sale, but it is all going to be online again this year. And the brick and mortar store will be closed all day on that Friday. So you'll be doing your online shopping, your Black Friday shopping on the website. We've put information out in our weekly email newsletter about the Black Friday sale. And next week on Wednesday, the 24th, we're going to be doing a special edition of Inspire Me. We're actually going to go live on Facebook at 10 a.m. and then on Instagram at 1030 a.m to give you all the details, answer any questions, all that stuff. But the Black Friday sale will be, Friday will be online on November 26th from 8 a.m. to noon. The brick and mortar store is gonna be closed to allow us to be able to get all those orders processed. And then on Saturday, the 27th, that is Small Business Saturday, we will be open our normal hours, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, you'll be able to come pick up your Black Friday orders and we'll have all kinds of fun things that we're going to do for Small Business Saturday as well. All right, we'll have a giveaway, a draw a needle discount at the register, so we hope you will come out and support us. Whew, I told you I had a lot. Um, again, this would be a great time if you do not subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You can do that on our website to keep up to date with what's going on in the shop. Um, follow us on social media. We do our best to get the information out there as much as humanly possible. We don't want anybody to be caught off guard by changing hours and things like that. So what am I gonna talk about today? Today I have a couple of ideas for you. If you need a project for Thanksgiving weekend, next weekend, if you need something new to cast on while well, you travel, to spend time with family, or if you're gonna be hosting family or going to a big dinner, or making a big dinner, what have you, however you're celebrating next week, if you are looking for some new uh, project ideas, I have got a couple for you that are kind of have special things, aspects about them for the long weekend. So first thing I wanna talk about today is the Curio Socks by Andrea Mallory. So this is a pattern, it is already up on Ravelry. You can go ahead and um, purchase it and download it now. But this pattern, Andrea, every year over the long holiday week, at least the last four years, over the long Thanksgiving holiday weekend, does a sock uh, knit along challenge where she has a new sock pattern that she's introduced. And the idea is that you cast on on Wednesday morning, though that would be the day before Thanksgiving, so it'd be the 24th this year. And your goal is to finish the socks by the following Monday afternoon. And if you do that and post a picture of your finished socks to the um, thread in her Ravelry group, which is linked from the sock pattern page on Ravelry or linked on her website if you want to check out her website, um, or you can post a picture to Instagram. She's doing that too this year with the hashtag, you will be entered for some prizes. So it's a lot of fun. Um, it's not meant to be a high pressure thing. It's just meant to be a fun thing. Let's all make a pair of socks together over the holiday weekend. And we have a sample, one of our lovely customers, Angela Ingram, um, is a test knitter for Andrea Mowry sometimes. And so she has a pair of these Curio socks done. So you can see they're slightly different. That's because they utilize a skein of spin cycle yarns dyed in the wool, um, along with a semi-solid tonal um, main color. So the colors in dyed in the wool shift and so that's what you're seeing here. She knit this sock first, and then you can see there's some blue at the top of this one, and then it comes, actually they go toe up, um, and then it comes through. So that's what the color shift into the socks are not gonna match 100%, but it's a lot of fun to have them. They're, they'll, they'll be sisters, not twins. Um, this pattern is very simple. It's knit from the toe up, um, just little stripes, one row stripes with these column of slip stitches. You actually do the start with this toe and knit the whole tube, putting in some waist yarn. You come back and do an afterthought heel. So this is a great pattern, um, maybe to learn some new skills in your sock knitting. Andrea writes great patterns, and she's always got really nice pattern support, um, tutorials, and things. So this would be a great pattern. It's meant to be very fun and relaxing, nothing stressful, but a great project. And we have put together a few kits. So these are up on our website right now. We only have two kits for each color combination. So if you like these um, and you really want one, I would suggest going and picking one up um, from our website now because as soon as I'm done with 
this live. I'm going to post them to our social media and I expect these will not last. But I have got a skein. We did ours in, um, we combined the dyed and the wool, which is the sport weight spin cycle yarns with a skein of our Rich Hill yarns fingering weight. So I've got this color combination, which is Capital Square is the Rich Hill and Ghost Ranch is the spin cycle. So you can see all those fun colors in the spin cycle. Then we have this color combination is Tacky Lights in the Rich Hill and the spin cycle is Neveruary. Neveruary. Like February, only with never. <laughs> this combination is Lewis Ginter and the Rich Hill Yarns and the spin cycle is called Robin's Egg, which is really pretty. It's got just a little bit of that blue. That's why we pulled that to put together with the Lewis Ginter. And the last color combination that I have for you, the Rich Hill is called Pony Pasture and the spin cycle is Stay Out of the Forest. So I have two kits each of those four combinations. They are $60, um, does not include the pattern. The pattern is, you have to purchase that separately via Ravelry or Andrea's website. But we will have those up and they are ready for you to go purchase. So like I said, I would strongly recommend if you're looking for a way to up your sock game a little bit while still doing a fairly simple pattern, Curio Socks, you can go ahead and buy your kit and download your pattern, have everything ready to go, cast on next Wednesday morning, finish by the following Monday, and there's instructions on Andrea's pattern page to walk you through how to enter your socks and to possibly win a prize for knitting a pair of socks over the holiday weekend. The other thing that we want to talk about, the other promotion, is by Blue Sky Fibers. So Blue Sky um, is a shop favorite. We carry their wool stock, which is a great workhorse uh, worsted weight, 100% um, Highland wool yarn, and Blue Sky Fibers has very generously um, offered if anybody purchases yarn to knit a project from them, if you buy the yarn from us, then we will provide you with a code that you can use on the Blue Sky website to download for free a pattern of your choice. Um, the code will work from the 25th to the 29th. So you can go ahead and buy your yarn now and we'll give you the code and then next weekend, the 25th to the 29th, you can redeem that on the Blue Sky Yarns website for the pattern of your choice, anything you want to make. Um, we carry the wool stock, it comes in two put-ups. We have the big 150 gram skeins which have 370 yards per skein. I just pulled a couple of colors that we have. The other way you can purchase the wool stock is they have these smaller 50 gram skeins and the 50 gram skeins have 123 yards per skein. So there's a lot of options with wool stock. There's a lot of different um, ways you can put things together. And I just ran through the website this morning and just picked a few little patterns that I thought were kind of cool that I just wanted to highlight for you. The first is this hat. Uh, the Claremont Cable Hat by Virginia Sattler Raymer. That would take two 50 gram skeins of wool stock. You can see that's a really pretty cable pattern that runs down just one side of the hat. Just enough to keep it interesting. I think that would be a really nice quick gift item if you're looking for a gift knit to maybe work on over the long weekend. I've always loved this wrap. This is the Gresham Wrap by Michael Vlodman. It you can, it's hard to see on the camera, but those color stripes are actually different stitch patterns. Um, it utilizes two 150 gram skeins for the main color. That's the white in the pattern, the picture here. And then seven 50 gram skeins of wool stock, one each of seven colors to do your accent colors. So I think that's a really beautiful piece and that would be great as a transition piece. The Trimont Snood by Sylvia Hager. We've had this um, sample in the shop before. It's always very, very popular. It's just a great kind of capelet. Very, very easy to make and wear. Um, you, The yardage that you need for this, you can either pick up one 150 gram skein plus one 50 gram skein. That would give you enough yardage um, or it would be four 50 gram skeins. The 150 gram, the big skeins, come in a limited color palette. 
Okay, so they don't they don't come in all the colors of, of wool stock. So if you have a particular color that you like, you may have to buy four 50 gram skeins to be able to get that color. And then the last one I wanted to show is a crochet pattern. So this is the Hampton Bucket Hat by Bobby Intfeld. Um, that would need one 150 gram skein of um, wool stock, or like I said, because the 100, the big skeins don't come in the full color palette, if you find a color you like on the 50 gram skeins, um, you would need three of those. So that's gonna be the same yardage no matter what way you buy it. Um, you're just gonna need that much yardage to be able to make this hat. So I think that's a really fun um, crochet project. I wanted to make sure that, so there are crochet patterns as well um, as knit patterns. And again, that code's gonna work on the Blue Sky um, Fibers website. If you buy your wool stock yarn anytime from now through the weekend, um, and you let us know, hey, I'm buying Blue Sky yarn to do a, a pattern, a Blue Sky pattern will give you the code. Um, if you buy online, please uh, stick a little note in your order, like, hey, I'm buying Blue Sky yarn to make a Blue Sky pattern. Can I please have the pattern code? And we'll be sure to email you the code so that you've got that. Good for the bundles. All right. And yes, for the bundles as well. We do have some bundles. Um, some of the mini skein bundles still um, from Woolstock. We don't have any of the Winter Wonderland ones, but we've got some cool and warm ones, so it would work for that. Um, whatever you want to buy, any Blue Sky yarns, yarn. It does have to be Blue Sky yarn, okay? Don't, if you find a Blue Sky pattern you really like, but you're like, but I'm going to buy this other company's yarn to make it, we cannot give you the pattern code unless you buy the Blue Sky Fibers yarn, all right? But that, um, like I said, you can do that now. We will give you the, the code now, um, but the code will not work on their website until next Thursday, November 25th. But you can go ahead and buy your yarn and have it all set and then um, download your pattern next weekend and make your item from Blue Sky. So we're thankful for Blue Sky um, to be providing that for our customers next weekend. All right, whew, that was a lot. So um, as always, we will be putting this Inspire Me up on our YouTube channel. So if you do not, if you have somebody that you know that you think might like this video but doesn't have a Facebook account, you can tell them they can catch our replay on YouTube. If you go to YouTube and search Dances with Wool in the search bar, we'll pop right up. Um, really recommend subscribing to our YouTube channel because we have a lot of content coming up there in the next month or so. So now would be a good time um, as I said, if you don't get our weekly email newsletter, now would be a really good time to subscribe to that. We only send it out once a week, um, and then very occasionally we might send out a special edition one, but we do not bombard you. Don't sell your email address, um, but it's a good way to keep up with everything that's happening because we have so much going on in the store right now. So that's what we've got for you today for next uh, weekend, holiday weekend. Um, as always, like I said, please do check the website check our social media. If you're planning on coming out to the shop, um, the brick and mortar shop, just to make sure that you double check our hours because we have a lot of things happening here in the next week or so. We really, really hope you will come out and see us if you're local tomorrow at the Yarn Ball at James River Cellars Winery, 12 to 5 p.m. We're hoping to see a lot of you there. And as I said, next week, Inspire Me is going to be on Wednesday morning, not Friday because we'll be in the midst, we'll be up to our eyeballs and Black Friday orders by that point. But next Wednesday, we'll be Facebook Live at 10 a.m. and then Instagram Live at 10.30 a.m. to give you all the information, um, answer any questions, and make sure everybody is ready to go for the big Black Friday sale next week. So we hope everybody has a great weekend. Hope to see a lot of you tomorrow, and we will be back next Wednesday for our next edition of Inspire Me.